everyone. Today I'm going to to make comparison of uh, do immigration from Cambodia to Australia. Uh, people uh, from Cambodia, a lot of people, they want to do immigrate to Australia to get a better quality of life. So I'm going to compare the differences and the similarity between living in Australia and Cambodia. Uh, Cambodia is a developed country and may not improve the quality of individual and family life. Uh, it led to be the economics, education, work, condition and other factors could affect uh, of where people live. To get a better life, there are many Cambodian people decide to move for education, career and family purposes. So I'm going to show you how, how Cambodian people they make decision to come to, to build or study in Australia. The top reason why people immigrate to Australia. Australia is the country that has a good stable economy and employment opportunities. Also have a very low air pollution, have a good quality of education, which is very great and you can study whatever you want as a, a multiple cultural population. There are many nationalities come to live here, so we can learn different culture. Uh, Australia have a very good landscape and outdoor activities, like at the beach, mountains, outdoor club bar, etc. And the climate, which have many seasons, that makes the country more beautiful like in spring, we can see flowers. And in Australia, have very good efficient health care systems. That's why this is the point that many people from around the world and also Cambodian like to immigrate to Australia. Yes, I would like to compare the economy of Australia. Australian currency is Australian dollar and GDP per capita 49,927. So the GDP is compared to Cambodia is a lot of difference. I'm going to show you Cambodian GDP. Uh, Cambodian currency is Cambodian real, which is GDP per capita just 1,269 USD. Uh, so research by World Bank. So I just thought, thought of this. Just I just want to compare the GDP. Uh, the weather and the climate between Australia and Cambodia is very different. Because Australia have four, four seasons, which is summer, autumn, winter, and spring. And Cambodia is really uh, humid, only two, uh, two seasons actually, raining and dry season. It's very, every day mostly hot, uh, warm and humid. Uh, Australia is a good country for education purposes because it's a world-class economic recognition and we can choose whatever we want to study. There are many subjects and many skills that you can uh, study and get a good job. Uh, in Australia, students are allowed to, to, start to, to work while studying a uh, minimum uh, 14 hours uh, allowed to allow students to work 40 hours for two weeks. And while you're working hard, uh, while you're working hard, you can play hard because there are a lot of things to do, a lot of activities. 
Yes, uh, this is the the comparison of education in Cambodia and in Australia. In Cambodia, there are lack of quality uh, assurance of education. And in Australia, uh, uh, there are many uh, resourceful and uh, insightful knowledge that how how Australian uh, policy and their implementation impact the quality of Australian higher education. Yes, I uh, also would like to talk about uh, career profession and income in Australia. Uh, Australian career professional, this is the, the full-time earning Australia average, which is 78,832 years. And it's also, also showing the over time with plus bonus. So this is all the way that I research from the internet. So now I'm going to turn you to see how Cambodian earn. Uh, I just brief some of a professional job uh, that we can earn per annual. You can see uh, like uh, several jobs like dentist, pharmacies, architect. The annual earn is just like average 7,000 a year. So it's really low compared to Australia. Uh, I'm going to talk about lifestyle in Australia. Australia is the country that full of immigration. And Cambodia, Cambodia, 90% of the population is Cambodian and also have Vietnamese 5% and 1% is Chinese. And uh, Cambodia, Cambodian people, they mostly they do small business, crop and then planting vegetables. And the way that Cambodian greeting each other is bow the head and also like, like this, like this, prayer. And opposite, uh, what Cambodia just shaking the hand. It's a very different of greeting. Uh, in Australia, the main religion is Christianity, and Cambodian, the main religion is Buddhist. And Cambodian speak Cambodian, uh, Cambodian speak Khmer, and Australian speak English. So it's, it's the best way to come to live in, in uh, Australia that you can learn English for the professional job. The also talk about family value in Australia. Uh, in research, men and women are preferred to work in order to support family equality. And in Cambodia, they are, have gender issue. Men support the family and make a decision bigger than the women. And women supposed to uh, take care of family three families, and even those the women employ outside. Yes, this question. Uh, compared to the GDP between Cambodia and Australia, GDP in Australia is significantly higher than Cambodia. The climate uh, is really different as well because we can wear clothes differently 
and fashionable in Australia. And by Cambodia, we always wear summer clothes, Sydney clothes that we don't have uh, winter clothes. Professional career uh, in Australia. We come to Australia. We have we we received the ed, uh, Australian education. So, in job profession, Australia is more professional than Cambodia because we can study uh, very largely in English, and the education in Australia is very good quality. So lifestyle, lifestyle in Australia. Uh, which have many <laughs> so much. So, conclusion. Uh, for this conclusion, is it's good for family life perspective. So, because of uh, Australia have good education system, and. Uh, career development and also have work-life balance. So Australia is the best country for do immigration. Thank you for coming. <laughs> How many is that? Three.